Okay, we have a treat for you. We have a very special guest joining us. You might have seen her on one of the biggest shows on TV. Watch this. The last bit was the hardest part, and I stood up on that rock, and I was like, holy f I just did that. I really felt like on top of the world, like I conquered one of my fears. I'm with this amazing man. How awesome is this? Oh, huh? Just having his arm around me and knowing exactly what I just conquered, it was such a good moment. You really impressed me today. Thank mm -hmm. you. You were fearless. <laughs> She's so cute. All right, you just saw a clip from the hit show, The Bachelor, featuring our hometown girl, Selma Alamari. Welcome to Primetime. Thank you. Thank you for coming here. Thank you. Okay, so Hi. we have, we want some dirt. Yeah. We love it. You're <laughs> our local connection. And I just met you randomly and thought you were awesome. Yeah. Who knew that you were on The Bachelor? <laughs> Everybody else knew but me because I have to watch kid programming tonight. Um, okay, so tell me, did you fall in love with The Bachelor? I unfortunately didn't fall in love with The Bachelor. I was hoping to, but I didn't, so. I, here's my gut instinct, that... People, I mean, emotions get heightened because it's a game. You want to win the game. And everybody, like a lot of women, have that insecurity. And maybe it's deep down seated somewhere of, I'm not good enough. So they want to be good enough. They want to be chosen. So I yeah. think they, that escalates where they think they're falling in love with a guy. Yeah. And it's yeah. a game. They're playing a game to win. Yeah. And I, I never had that sense of, I'm not good enough. I had the sense of, we are not good enough together. Good I, for I you. Was, I wasn't. You know, it wasn't there. Tell us why. Feeling. Tell us why you did think you were a good connection. You know what? I honestly, I thought maybe he was just a little young for me. I, How I was, old was he? He was 29, but I was older than him by a couple of weeks. But maturity I, wise, maturity wise, like he was looking for a girl young at heart. And I mean, I am young at heart, but I'm mature beyond my years. And he kind of just wanted somebody you know, fun and, you know, just crazy and would just drop everything and go. And I'm like, well, I have a business. I can't, you know, just You're drop. responsible. Yeah. You're paying some bills here. <laughs> yeah. I'm you're, you're thinking about your future. <laughs> yeah. So I was like, eh. it just wasn't connecting. Something yes. wasn't there. He, bless his heart, he was such a great guy. He is so sweet and just a good person, genuine person, but um, just wasn't there. But were you attracted to him physically? Because you know when I know, all his girls know, that we want a nice guy, we want someone who's going to treat us right, like a lady, yeah. but you still have to have that attraction, and I don't know what it is. It's yeah. just like, you either have the chemistry or you don't. There has to be that spark, I know. Yeah. it's. Ugh, I don't know what it is with the spark, but if there is no spark, if there is no chemistry, it's it. all over for us. Yeah. And, and you when know I would what? turn you guys into friends, that's what we did. Yeah, exactly. Right. <laughs> he was getting in that friend zone, and I was like, oh, no, he's but my the, friend. Is that why you held off? You didn't kiss him for so long? Yeah, well, you know what? I didn't Tell us about that, because you held off. You didn't want to kiss him in front of the cameras. Yeah. You well, know, most girls don't care about that. They've got their lips all over The Bachelor. Yes, and I, I kind of I mean, went in over. there all over. All over, right? Which I, I was happy. I was when I, After I watched it, I was like, oh, my God, thank God I didn't kiss him. He yeah, was kissing you everybody. You could have came home with something you didn't <laughs> yeah. leave with. <laughs> Okay, so tell us, about why, tell us why it took you so long to kiss them. Well, okay, so my mom was really, she was upset that I was doing this show. She's very conservative, very strict, and she was like, please don't do this. And at the end of the day, when she agreed, she said, please just don't kiss him. Don't be that girl making out with him on television. So I was like, fine, you know, like, out of respect for you, I won't. Not that I've never kissed a boy before, not that I'm this saint or anything, but... Out of respect for her, I was like, I'm going to try not to kiss yeah, him. Yeah, you're her baby. You can't do that. Yeah, and then I was like, you know what? Hey, I'm going to, you know, I want him to chase me a little bit. I want him to, like. <laughs> to competitive, yeah. like the competitive edge to kick in like, with God. all these beautiful girls yeah. and he's kissing everybody. You're yeah. like, I want him to be like, I want that kiss, you know, and work for okay, it. Okay, and then but, what happened when you kissed him? Well, so at the end of it, I was like, okay. I, I felt like there was nothing there. So I'm like, <laughs> Let me was just he a good see. kisser or not? I just pecked him on the lips. So there was no, no tongue action? Nothing. No. no, no. We just literally, I pecked him on the side and it was like a quick, like, five second peck. And I was like, nope, nothing there. 
Really? <laughs> Nothing. You can tell that from a peck? <laughs> from a peck. I was like, mm. Wow. That's pretty yeah. interesting. Okay, we have yeah. a lot more to talk about. Yeah. We gotta take a quick break. <laughs> okay, we're back with our very special guest from The Bachelor. She, you know, we have a local connection to her because she lives in San Diego. You also uh, are a realtor here in San Diego as well, right? Well, not a realtor, no, but we do real estate. We you actually flip flipping. homes. Not so, yeah. Doing. Mm -hmm. okay. yeah, so I don't necessarily sell any real estate, but I buy it and flip it. Well, that's important. You're still in real estate, yes, basically. Yes, yes. Okay, yeah. so we're going back to The Bachelor. You told us you, all you did was peck him. You're probably the only girl that didn't kiss him. Thank I was the only girl that didn't kiss him. Jeez. <laughs> and then you decided after that you're done. You didn't want to... Well, I, I kind of had told the producers, I said, listen, I'm not really feeling any chemistry. Is there something missing? So, um, and I kind of think he was feeling it too, like feeling my energy where there was something missing because they were like, mm -hmm. no, he likes you so much. And I was like, well, it takes they, tell, they, they tell <laughs> everybody think, exactly. that because they don't want anybody to go home. <laughs> yeah, they want us to like compete for him. Right, but, so um, let me ask you this. Let me ask you this. What... Um, how real is the show? Because, I mean, I've been in TV long enough to know that even reality is they're going to stage what they want. They're going to create drama because drama sells television, right? Yeah, yeah. You know, um, okay, so a lot of it is... Um is real. It, everything you say, the feelings you gain, it, that's all real, but it is produced. You know, they put you in certain situations where um, you either can fall in love or you're going to fight or you're going to, you know, and they kind of instigate things. They whisper a little bit, but at the end of the day, everything you say and do is at your own will. It's what you want to say. It's how you're really feeling. They can't make you out to be someone you're really not. Right. So it's, you know, it's pretty real. It's yeah. just um, unrealistic, I yeah, guess you it can is. say. Yeah, I'm sorry. Real love doesn't happen like that. Yeah. What do you think about the woman that won? Catherine, I think she is a great, great girl. I did not see that coming. I mm -hmm. could tell you that much. I really thought that um, at the end of the day, he would either pick Ashley or he would pick Lindsay. But... I mean, if there is a connection between them, that's great. Good for them. I, I just didn't see that one coming. Yeah. yeah. Interesting. But she, she's a sweetheart. She is such a sweet girl. And that's so. really all that matters. Yeah. So would you ever be the next Bachelorette? Because I think you'd make a good Bachelorette. And then I would start watching thank the show. You. <laughs> well, thank you. But I don't... I think I'm going to try to find love on my own this time. I tried it once. It didn't work out. And now I'm kind of like, you know, I, I'll try to find love by myself. Are you dating I'll let it here? organically happen. Um, I am dating. I, I'm not dating anyone specifically, but I am I'm dating. I, I'm really, really, really busy. Yeah. <laughs> like, I, I yeah. Know. And then it's hard. But just <laughs> yeah. what is your wish list for the perfect man for you? Oh, God. Okay, so he has to definitely make me laugh. I need somebody with personality. I am such a personality person. I don't care what you look like. I don't so care he could how be old you are. Pounds? Okay, come on. We'll, let <laughs> <laughs> well, B, I want you to put it on the table. And when I say wish list, you're putting it out there to the universe. Okay, I want okay, wish no, list. no, I come like. Come on, don't, we're not, it's not uh, Miss America pageant right now. Okay. I want reality. No, so I'm really into fitness. So I do want him to be into fitness. I do want him to be health. But, I mean, honestly, at the end of the day, I'm such a personality girl. I want a man who strives for success because I do. You have to be ambitious, right? If you're not yeah. equally yoked with somebody who has the same religious beliefs, political beliefs, or yes. is as ambitious, you'll drive each other crazy. Absolutely. So I need I, I need the full package. and <laughs> I, <laughs> I need I, the full package? I think I'm looking for the perfect man, and which is why I'm still single. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, because there is no perfect man. No but perfect man. <laughs> write it out on paper. I know, I know. I have my list. Don't you <laughs> <Yeah>. worry. <laughs> check, check. Oh, no. <laughs> I size them all up. Okay, like, hmm. where, where are you going to be? Uh, what's your goal, short term goal, long term goal, quickly, because we got to sign on? Um, short term goal, I guess, is just to keep succeeding at my business. I want to continue to grow it and make it big. You know, it's, and that's it's still getting flipping this. homes and. Flipping yeah. homes. I want to get into development. So that's one thing we're starting to look at because that's kind of where it's yeah. going now. So um, those right now is just to be successful. Yay, yeah. I have no doubt you will. Thank you. Thank you so much for coming. Aww, thank you.